Hi everyone, I'm Luppy Ress, and today, and here is today's daily challenges in Super Mario 35. Clear two courses. That's <laughs> clear two courses. Okie dokies. Target and send enemies the lowest time. 30 times. That's not too bad. Defeat 200 enemies in 35 player battle. Okay. Easy peasy. Maybe we can knock this one out on the first thingy. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. In today's Super Mario 35 35 player Mario. I forgot to get a I forgot to take a sip of water. Oopsie doopsies. Nope. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, take that, you ding dongs. Wow, we're down five people. We're down more than five people. This is... Not the worst case scenario, but not the best. <laughs> okay. You do you, random turtle. I'm kind of all talked out because I just did special battle earlier today. But, you know. I'm sure I'll get my mojo back at some point. Nice. Of course. No, you don't- don't do that. Let me hit you. Okay. We're doing okay. And not ideal. But you know. What is? What is ideal in an imperfect universe? Probably not existing, I guess. <laughs> Existential. Oh boy. That's not funny. But I'm still laughing. And I didn't flub it up this time. How's that for awesome? Oops. Well, that's fun. Oops, and I fell off because I thought I needed more room to jump than I actually did. Neat. So yeah. If I wasn't a complete ding-dong, that would've been way easier to... or not way easier, but would've been doable. In one go. I kinda like it when it loads up on the blocks like that. Kind of dynamic. I just like watching all the Mario's run. It's fascinating to me. Like it's funny because as like a kid, as a young man, like there are so many things that were overstimulating, and yet all those running Mario's were just fascinating, hypnotizing even. To be fair, they're not talking though. If they were, like if they were just all with their own conversations and stuff, asking questions, potentially looking at me, that'd be a very different thing. A very, very different thing. Oh, I was gonna skip this level. Oh well. I've got a one-track mind, and that track was on talk for like, the first part of it. Oh well. 
we've all seen this a bazillion times already. No matter how it goes, you know? We're just here hoping that I die in a really funny way. Or I pull off something dumb unexpectedly. That's why I'm here. When I get to the pearly gates, I want, like, St. Peter or Paul or whoever to be like, are you the guy who did that, like, backwards jump off three Koopas and then, like, somehow killed Bowser in a way that you shouldn't even be able to? And I'll be like, yeah, that was me. And he's like, well, you're a liar, that wasn't you. You never did that at all. And it's like, yeah, true. Yep. I can do this. It's not about having faith in your jumps, it's about having faith in yourself. Big ups. Big downs. Big all arounds. I almost did that thing I do where... <laughs> I knock out the first Goomba and then ran right into the second one. That's neat. Boop. Boop. I'm just trying to kill as many things as possible. And once we knock out all three of the thingies, then... I'll probably change my tactics to be... a little more in zooming through. I would like to see 8-4, you know? It's kind of the goal. What the heck? Really? This early? Again? Wow, I guess we got some kids playing this. I guess it is earlier. Man, I'm used to playing at like midnight or like three in the morning, where, like, everyone's super skilled and lasts forever. Nice. I like this. I like watching people die. Like, not for realsies, but, like, in the context of this game, heck yeah. <laughs> and then there were four. Please tell me there's a Bowser. Yeah, baby! I know usually I get kind of arrogant and get all like, oh yeah, I knew I'd win this one. But like, I don't know. I think it's anyone's game, and I'm probably gonna lose this one. Probably because I'm an idiot. You know. That's usually how it goes, though. Okay, fireballs are a waste, but it's better than nothing. You know. Well, that's- I didn't know that the turtle shells could land on the axe. I didn't know the axe was actually, like, a thing. That's weird. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So what's gonna screw me over more? Zooming through this stage? Or actually bothering to do it? I don't know. That's a real... I feel like it's a real... Oh boy, knocked out someone. It's anyone's game still. Funny, funny, awesome. Neato, burritos. Okay, now it's not anyone's game. It's definitely not my game. Okay, it's anyone's game again. I gotta actually... We gotta do stuff, don't we? Okay. And I gotta learn to, like, not die. That'd probably be the best thing to learn at this point. Oh, man. That was a bad jump. 
But we saved it. But I saved it. You're not the only one who can get coins, friend. Come on, die in a humiliating way. Don't make me do this. Don't make me die in a humiliating way. Uh, I've already been in this situation like- Oh my goodness. Not the way I want this to go. Not the way I want this to go. Okay, close enough. Good enough. Yep. Just gonna double up on those superstars. Yeah, kinda figured that would happen. But, you know. Not the worst thing that could happen. Still going pretty strong. I feel like the timer is a little fast, but you know. It's not red, so that's good. Oh man. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, it's just two ding-dongs <laughs> playing through until somebody makes a mistake. Oh, I hate this. I love it and I hate it. It's not fair. I deserve this win. But I'm sure the other guy does too. Or girl. Whoever. Cat. Dog. You know, whoever. Whoever's on the other end of that screen. Doing their whatevers. At this point, the real question is, who's chasing who? The real question is... something, something, something. Okay. And you've stopped attacking me, because there's only two of us, right? Nice. Not the worst situation to be in. Not the best. Remember the days where I used to just jump into that pit? What's with the love of 6-2 here? Oh my god, I hate this. Give me something great. said, give me something great. Nice. Nice! I knew it! I had this one. Nice. See, I got it. I've got my skills back. There's a very low ceiling to reach again but I made it. Nice! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I leveled up again. Nice. And I got a new icon. A spiny egg. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye. You know I'm just kidding about that. We've still got so much we can play. Still so much more we can do.
The one thing I've learned, never let up on your offense unless it's time for defense. There's literally no rhyme or reason to the way I play. I just kind of do what the little gnomes in my brain tell me to do. They're nice gnomes, them. They don't know how the human world works, but they try. Nice. A little late, but nice. Let's try to never see that number again this round, eh? Next, we don't like it. Just because we want to win or die with a lot of time on the time thingy. Timer. That's the word I'm looking for. It's the same word I just said, except with an R at the end. Says he'll zoom through. Literally goes for all the coins. Yep, yep. That is how it be sometimes. But I'm not going for all of them. Like, that was just a pit stop. You know what they say, all work and no play makes Luppy stop playing. play later at night so that people actually like bother to last for a few minutes. I'm never gonna see 8-4 with these garbage piles. That's mean. They're doing their best. Like that guy, he's just standing around. Nice. Come on guy, like, are you sightseeing? Like what's going on? I'm afraid to make the jumps. I'm playing, a, I'm playing a game about a guy who jumps, and I'm afraid to make jumps. I've been there. I remember being young. It's a scary place. Everything's your first time. Everything's so consequential. But then you learn something. Nothing matters and being an adult is bullshit. It's all about pushing papers onto somebody else and signing stuff. And then getting blamed for things you never even heard of. That's what being an adult's all about. Also, it's about decorating your house in a way that makes your parents not ashamed of you. And probably not killing your pets. Or ethically choosing not to have pets because the pet industry is toxic in every way possible. But that's not a conversation I want to have because, like, the only thing I can trick into loving me is a dog, so. Or cats, you know, if you feed them. And that's pretty bleak. Or maybe it's really positive. It really depends what your notion of like bleak or positive are. My notion of positive is like unflinching like loyalty. And my definition of like bleak is like <laughs> I don't know, like not I don't know. I think about ways I could kill myself for fun, so that's not good. <laughs> Have I ever tried? Nope. Kinda like this life. I mean, it may be an unending nightmare, but it's my unending nightmare. And at least it's not like I've had spiders crawl into my eyeballs, or... I've been... I don't know. I was actually going to say a true statement as a false statement. It's like, nope, let's not go there. This isn't the time or the place. Maybe while playing a more relaxing game so I can actually think about what I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, you know. That's not a tale for Mario. That's a tale for, like, dying four times in a row in Resident Evil something or other. Okay. Let's see. Other tales of the past, though, that are topical. 
Well, it's funny that I kill all these piranha plants, because I'm really good at killing- Really? Again? Okay. I'll take it. There we go. That's all I want. Well, that's a waste. Okay, it doesn't matter. The way everything is, it doesn't matter. But yeah, like killing plants. I've had multiple cacti in my life. Cactus? Cacti? I've had multiple of them in my life. And I've killed all of them. Yep. I had one as a child. And it was just a little, like, round, like, dumb pot thing, you know? And that one I actually forgot to, like, water. It died of... <laughs> it died of not being watered. Yes. And then I had one in middle school. And that was a really cool one, because it was one of those ones where... It was the green cactus, you know? But it also had, like, the orange cactus part on top of it. And I love that thing. And that one also <laughs> I forgot to water. And it died. It was so sad, because, like, the green part turned brown, and the orange part was still trying to stay alive. But, like, you know, the orange part needed the green part to live. So that's how that hat went down. And then I got two more cactuses. I got another... of the, like, colored cactus chunk on top of a green cactus chunk. And that was another orange one. And that one lived a lot longer. Because the first one only lived, like... I don't know, like, a year? At best. Whereas... The second one lived, like, pretty much almost the entire time I was in college. Plus, like, my last year of high school. So, like, it was like a six-year-old cactus. Or maybe five. Five, six, seven, you know, somewhere in there. So it got a decent amount of life in it. Really. And at the same time, like, I also had this other cactus, which is this short little bulby thing with, like, these curly spears. And it, like, once had flowers. It was really cool, like, these little white flowers. It was really, really un unexpected. That's what I was going to say, unexpected. Well, this isn't fun. But yeah, I've killed, like, three cact- four cactuses. And I'm not even 30 yet. The plant that I've had that survived the longest was an Indian rubber plant that I named well, I can't tell you its name because, like, that would reveal who I am to certain kinds of people. But it had a name, and I had it from when I was in high school up until, like, 2018, I want to say. So, like, I had this plant for eight years. And I really loved it. I talked to it. It was basically a friend. But, like, I think it was just the toll of, like, oops, that sucks. But yeah, I think it was just the toll of moving, like, every year. And, like, not having the same amount of sunlight or being, like, in different, like, sunlit positions, like, different rooms. Just killed it. Or maybe that was his natural life spot cycle, like, I don't know. I feel like plants usually live longer than eight years, but what do I know? Yeah, but it was a slow decline, like, it started to have issues 
in 2014 or 13. And like I noticed that really late. But like I tried a lot to like keep it healthy and alive and it kind of worked like it survived for after that period in 2013 to 2018 so like you know I did something right. But at the same time, oh man. At the same time, like, you know, it still died. And that was another one that flowered for a bit, and it grew fruit. Like, that was the cool thing, like, for, like, a few years, like, it would grow fruit, like, in the winter and stuff. So that was really neat. I don't know if it needed, like, a specific amount of sunlight, like, a specific lack of sunlight, or a specific, like, Temperature? But yeah. That was my indoor Indian rubber plant. Now I have a mass cane. And I think it's dead. I think my um, yucca died. And I don't know how that happened. I think it was just a bad... Oops. I think it was just, like, already dead when I bought it, though. Like, it was a very slow decline. Like, its shoots were moldy. And, like, I didn't know how to, like, deal with it other than cutting them off. Like, it was really gross. And maybe I shouldn't have done that, but, like... They were already dying pretty badly. And like, it's weird because like, they dry out, you know? And I'm not a- I'm not really the much of a plant guy, so I don't really know like, if I'm describing this right. But like, as they died, like, they dry out, they turn brown and stuff, so you don't think they'd grow mold. Like, usually mold needs like, living tissue. Or like, wet, moist climates, like dark stuff. But... Yeah, it had mold on the shoot, so... I don't know. I cut them off, and then hoped it might bounce back. And it kind of did, like... It had some new, like, attempts at, like, growing shoots. And then they just kind of dried out, so I don't know. But I feel like that's a plant where I just don't have it in the right, like, humidity, or in the right, like, light level. Like... I rearranged my room a lot, so like, my room's gone from like super dark to super bright, and I feel like it doesn't really need either. But at the same time, like, it's a kind of plant where like, they usually should be like, be a they should be able to be kept outdoors, like in sunnier areas? I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, the mask can I have right now is doing okay. Like, it turns brown on the tips of blah, on the tips of its leaves sometimes, but you know, it doesn't have any- it's still growing a lot of new shoots, it's still like, seems like it's thriving, so I don't know. And I had a mask cane last year that I bought from the same place that I got the yucca and the thriving mask cane, and that one died too, but that was my fault because I kept meaning to plant it from, like, the dumb, like, like, bin, like, they sell them in, like, you know, like, the, you know, the bins they sell plants in, like, the big old buckets. And I kept meaning to, like, put it into a proper planter so it could drain properly and stuff. And I didn't do that for, like, a year. And then when it got root rot, like, I was like, oh, surprise Pikachu face, and I shouldn't have been because, like, that's literally my fault. So I put it in a proper plot, in a proper planter, and it was too late, it still kept dying. Like, at this point it was like, it had mold, like, under the bark and stuff, like, it was just peeling and, like, slothing, like, it was bad. And at this point I feel like, maybe you shouldn't have any plants, and it's like, yeah. I, I agree with you. Like... I don't know, it's not like I'm the plant version of Mengele here, but like, I need to read like a few books. 
and maybe take a course or two on, like, plants for the homeowner. It occurs to me that I didn't skip through this level again. I've just really enjoyed talking about my plants. But yeah, the one that died, the mass cane that died, I did remove two of its shoots, and they're still alive. Like, I didn't think they would. Like, nothing on the internet said that a mass cane shoots will live. So, I did that as, like, I don't know, a last-ditch effort. And surprisingly, it worked. I was really, 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 really surprised. Oh boy! Why are there you guys? Stop that. I don't want these. Yeah, I can wait. Yeah, I've got two mass cane cuttings, a mass cane, a potentially dead yuka, and that's all I've got so far, if I'm remembering right. You thought I was gonna get hit again, didn't you? Me too. Oh man. Darn it. Well, I'm, there's one easy way to end this. There's always the easy. There's always the easy way to end this stuff. I'll just take the short way. But yeah, that's my experience with plants. I wish it was more positive, but you know, it is what it is. Aw, oh, man. That's the last thing I need is to kill a turtle at this point. Okay. Okay, safe way. There we go. Make some of you guys deal with this stuff, right? Alright, so we got two Bowser sent to other people. You know, postage paid for, stamps licked. Turn to sender probably is in effect. Full stop. Yep, I saw Bowser's. I'm pretty sure I did. That's fun. I'm not dealing with that. Cool. Yeah, what is with this? Like, we're not even in the red zone yet. This is just... Oh, I guess we are now. Speak of the devil. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, nice. I do not have the coins to do this constantly, but, you know... We'll worry about that when I'm dead. Cool. 
Cool. Cool. Nope. Not what I need right now. Nice! Pulled something off positively. Cool. A stage I can do? Occasionally? Nice. Come on. Be my friend here. Oh boy. Good enough. Of course. Just the way it had to be. Just the way it has to be. Come on. Give me stage 8-4. Give me the big win-win. Come on. Of course. I love this stage. And I love wasting time on it. Yeah, this is one of those, like... This isn't gonna go the way you want it to, thingies. And it's like, yeah, pretty much. Like, I am... Ham bone to the A here, probably. Hey, at least I killed one. really hoping to hit, like, all of those things right there. This freaking... Really? And which one was it? Which one was it? It's you. You're the one I'm thinking of. Nope. Nice. I got the wrong block both times. Nice. Another victory, though. This is really going well for me. A little too well. Okay. Let's keep trying to accomplish the goal of seeing 8-4. I don't think it'll happen, but you know, if I win a few short rounds on the way, who cares, right? hitting the right block, but you know, we're getting there. We're trying. You hear that? Like there was two or three times where it was still able to spit out coins, but it wouldn't. And I got the normal block sound. Favorite thing. Other than like Mario running and Koopa shells like bouncing in a one space thing. Like, that's... Those are my favorite things about this game. 
It's the little things that, you know, make it what it is. I know I said we'd go to 8-4, but like, I keep forgetting to skip this level. Oh well. I'm just gonna believe that everybody who zooms through this is just a streamer who doesn't want to bore their audience. I am just a humble guy recording this for anyone who wants to watch it after the fact. If you're watching this in 2028, YOLO. Don't quote me on that, please. Let it fade into obscurity. Wow, two knockouts. Neat. That's cool. That doesn't often happen. Or at least not in levels where, like... I don't know, like... I haven't seen anything exciting. Didn't even send a piranha plant to anybody yet. So I don't know. If you want me to mail you a piranha plant, I could do that. But like, why? You gotta tell me why. And you'll also probably have to give me your address and also like... Some other things. We'll iron out the details later. If you want me to mail you a plant. Not one of mine, but like, a plant. Fun. Skippity dippity doo da day. Don't really care for that, no way. Okay, that was kinda. We can do better. Someday. sort of Nintendo ploy to get me my most knockouts in a single game. We all get one where we knock out four or more people. I don't think I've reached that point in my career yet. I don't even have a career, this is still just a hobby. A hobby that eats up way too much of my time and resources. Okay. Sick moves. Oh wow. I was joking about the knocking out four or more people thing. I really was. I'm using up all my luck for the next year. <laughs> call it a use of, call it skill at this point would be kind of blasphemous personally. Like, 2021 isn't going to be pretty, is it? What's left of 2020 isn't going to be pretty, is it? Oh well. I can do is what I've always done. My best. Oh my god, I have 600 coins. If I die in this because I jumped into a pit, I'm gonna be so upset with myself. I can literally waste my entire life just standing in place. Oh Jesus. Why would you do that? Wow. Take that. 
Now it's somebody else's problem. Can't dodge them all. But you can dodge Jamal. Cool. I don't think anyone's listening, which is great. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing well or not anymore. The way these games go now is just, it skews my perception. Come on. I could get 700 coins somehow. That's awesome. And all I had to do was let the random number god love me for this one round. <laughs> Jeez, that's... That's awesome. Of course. There's nothing to fear except the fear of fear itself. And there's nothing I respect more than people who brush their teeth and their hair. I know it's hard. You look so nice after you do it. And your teeth and your hair, thank you. Unless you're one of those people where, like, you brush your hair really hard and, like, it pulls out all your hair. Then maybe, like, chill. Okay, I lost, like, a full minute doing this garbage, but, you know... Worth it. on some of you guys, I guess. What am I doing dodging that thing? Like, I can just torch it. Yeah, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Give me this. more intelligently. If I die here, I'm gonna be really upset. Because there's no reason for it at this point. Nice. Other than, like, severe miscalculations of jumps. Severe miscalculations of jumps are very possible, at any stage. Come on, give me a fire flower. Nope. Give me a fire flower. Nice! All you gotta do is tell it to do it. Cool. Um, I don't wanna do either, any of these. This seems like a bad idea. But I'll do it again because life's funny that way. And this is all just a big fat joke. Come on. Oops. Oops. Oh, this isn't gonna be funny at all. Nice. That doesn't often happen. I feel. Oh man. Oh boy. Spicy hour. Okay, it kind of skipped some stuff. 
That's fair. Oh my god, no. I'm not bothering with it any longer. Of course. We're just gonna go around and around on the same stuff we always do. No! I jumped into a hole! Uh. Well, that's cool. Nice. The capture card cut out somewhere in there, so that's not fun. But, you know, whatever. Someday I'll have a better one. Or I won't rely on this software. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's always depressing whenever I get the, like, irregular signal. We're gonna try again. Or even worse, I check the, like, duration and it's not even going anywhere. Because it stopped, like, five minutes ago. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yikes. But yeah, I called it, didn't I? I'd ruin those four guys' and girls' and dogs' and cats' sacrifice by jumping into a pit. To be fair, I jumped into a block and that ricocheted me directly into a pit. But that's a cold comfort to these people who lost their lives. Only to see the guy that they lost their lives to fall short. Literally. Run. Flee. He's got a superstar. Oh no. This isn't what I want. That's what I'm gonna get, I guess. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with, like, how quickly people are, like, dying. I kinda need a longer set of rounds to get to 8-4. And at the very least, I need people to, like, stop sending us to the first two levels. That would be nice. I know they're good because they let you build up, like, coins and time, but, like... Come on, guys. After a certain point, we just gotta run and run and run and go and go and go. And get out of here. There's, like... What? Like... 64 levels in this game we could play? I don't know if that's an ac accurate number. I don't think it is. I think, like, 32? 8 times 4 would be 32? Why am I thinking 8 times 8? I don't know. Doesn't every, doesn't every world have 8 levels in this game? I don't know. I'm just being obtuse and bad at math. Okay. Haven't knocked out a single person. See, the game just chooses, like, randomly. Like, you're the guy who's gonna get all the kills this time. Hope you last. Otherwise, this is wasted. And that would be a mean thing to do to me. I am an AI without feelings, but you know, you're gonna ruin my day, friend. And that's exactly how the Nintendo AIs think. They're almost human. In their inhuman ability to insert Wario into everything. If you believe the Super Mario 64, Iceberg. Anyways. Turns out nobody even made WarioWare Inc. 
that game just popped into existence and like the people at Nintendo were like, oh well, might as well release this. Uh, that's mean, because a lot of people worked hard on those games. And I spent a significant part of my middle school years playing them obsessively. I wish I could jump over this. I can't. Thanks. I hate it. Nice. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. I didn't even kill any bloopers. Well, you know what they say, never say never. how the coins are kind of placed to inspire you to jump in like the right way, but also could totally screw you up if you're trying to get all of them. And overthinking like all the fish and garbage. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to jump off a turtle into the eternal abyss. Cool. Well, it's not eternal. It ends in like two seconds. Not a fan of that. All is forgiven. For now. Of course. Oh boy. That's not what I wanted to see. situation. Nice. No. Alright. Oh man, that was a waste of a world. Oh, I guess not. Cool. Well, that was a waste of a roll. something useful like freaking power up and I know I say that like after you've already given me so many like you've really come in clutch game but could you come in a little more clutch Everybody is trying their best to help you, and that it's all you that's getting in the way of, like, your betterment. Now that's bleak. And it's not even, like, existential, it's just man's inhumanity to himself, you know? I've ever seen one. That was also pretty dumb, why'd I do that? Well, we can't always play perfectly. Nice. I guess this means no castle 8 4. Thanks. I'm not mad, I'm just going home with my ball and calling it quits. Oh, there we see it. There we go. Good old... Look at all those people with all those coins. Look at that guy with no coins. Man. 
What's it like to be in between all them? Must feel bad. Okay, I'm not gonna screw this stage up. I say, doing exactly what I did that screwed it up. Oh no. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Cool. Of course. Okay, we're at 310, that's not bad. 322, that's not bad. Well, we made it to eight. an 8 stage, that's cool. Give me another one, you freaks. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, it's premature, but you know, everything is in this game. After a certain point, you just gotta get used to it. Come on. Nice. Not really what I needed, though. <laughs> Not what I needed. Ugh. Like, the lag when you get, um, damaged just screwed that up for me. I'm not blaming anything, that's... you should expect that. Fun match. I'm just not enjoying how it... or maybe it's just me, it seems like people are dying really fast. But maybe that's just me. I'd like to see, like... 20 people still be around, like, once everything goes red. Because I'm pretty sure it's on a time thing, not on an anything thing, you know? That'd be cool. But that'd require a lot of skilled people, like, playing at the same time. And usually when that happens, like, things get swamped with, like, the worst enemies real quick. So, maybe that's not what I want to see. Maybe I've already experienced that. No. But yeah, what happens if we just zoom through levels? Like, not even trying. Forgo the win. Forgo building up timer or coins. What happens then? This is a waste of time. Never do this in Super Mario 35. It's bad. This is worse than, like, eating bacon for breakfast every day. This is just pure death. Running on top of that castle ceiling. I'm gonna grab this, though. Have I ever screwed this jump up? I don't know. I think it's the one thing I haven't screwed up yet. At all. And I'm sure there's tons of video footage of me, like, totally screwing it up. But, you know, we're just going to ignore it. Let me have the one thing I've got going for me. Decent amount of people are still alive and kicking. I have no coins though, basically. That's gonna be an issue. But we're not here to do that. 
Usually this is where I would jump into 1-4 for that Bowser action, but like, we all know some Ding Dong's gonna send me a Bowser anyway, so, you know, retor return to Sender. It's in the play. Now if only I could learn to talk, that would be great. Or maybe it's just like headphones and speaking without talking, or speaking without thinking. Like, it makes it seem like everything I say is wrong. And maybe that's true too, but in a different sense. Okay, we went to... we went here anyways. Nice. Maybe I don't understand how the warp zone works. That could be it. That could be it. I don't know. The goal is... Okay, I need to jump... There we go. Give me something great. That's all I need, something great. Okay, that's good. Okay, zooming through again. Uh, maybe not. Sometimes it's better to actually play Sonic, like the game developers want you to, as opposed to just running through it. I know this isn't Sonic the Hedgehog, but is it really any different? According to Miyamoto, no it's not. You, Ding Dong. You doomed me to a life of obscurity. That did not help. That did not help. You fool. Good enough, I'll take it. Wish I was a little bit deeper in, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Turns out, <laughs> forgoing coins was really dumb. Going coins is really dumb. I am filled with regret, and this is where my life ends. This is where my life ends. <laughs> there was no- I could've- I guess I could've gone when he jumped, but that was where my life ended. Nice. Here we go! But maybe the last or second to last round I play tonight? I don't know. Depends how long it goes. Let's see just how long we can keep going. Oh, really? That sucks. That sucks. Wow. What it must be like to be one of the countless people just flamoxed by how this thing works. Yikes. Aw, oh, man. Cool. I don't know how I did that. Because I'm not... I don't have anything that should kill people. Unless you're just getting caught unawares. Oh, 
Okay, that's not fun. Stop being funny when I became the butt of the joke. Okay. Really? That's how this is gonna go, huh? Nice! I feel like that doesn't happen very often. I always wonder if I can just jump it and not hit the platform, but I don't think that's possible. I don't believe it's possible. Whenever I- oh no, no, no! Oh goodness. I was not ready for the consequences of my own actions. I should have died like twice. <laughs> And I don't know. I guess somebody just really loves Koopas or Goombas. I don't know. Eh, we can grab this one. It's fine. Oh my goodness, did you see that guy just... He pulled, like, a classic Luffy move. Oh, man. Let me get over this guy. Nice. Classic Luffy move. It's called waiting for your enemies to kill themselves. Well, it's called running into things that were perfectly avoidable. No. This situation is one I put myself into. And I regret it. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. You should know I'm in a bit of a tizzy right now. Well, we're just gonna make your timer go down because you haven't been moving for a while. And there's a good reason for that game. A great reason. I'll tell you about it someday in my best-selling book. Get this Bowser off my back. My Luffy rests. Like, I haven't even fought a Bowser, so I don't know why you're giving me him. I don't deserve his revenge. I have done no wrong to the Koopa- <laughs> I've done no wrong to the Koopa Kingdom. <laughs> despite slaying thousands of them. At some point. Yeah. Someone get me the Mario version of Roger Stone. So we can forgive my great sins and then trick everybody into believing I'm great. Nice! Okay. Doing alright. You know, it doesn't matter what happens as long as you survive. And some people would say survival's not the end goal, it's just a thing we all do, but... You know, that's not a happy ending talk, is it? That was nice. That was nice. That doesn't happen often. I'm gonna take these coins while I can. Down to nine people left. That's awesome. Or should I say nine Marios? I mean, either one works, right? Nice. Oh dear. I almost blurred that up. Oh boy. There's quite a bunch of enemies. Whoa, that's too many Goombas. I'm not a fan of this. No longer a fan. What is going on here? Let me get past. Yeah, you're the last 
this one, friend. Nice. Not so nice. Kill the turtle. And now I can't get... Oh my goodness, really? Well, panic hit the X button. Not really what I needed, but you know, I'll take it. Yeah, buddy. Come on, bullet bill someone in the face. I wish this game told you how people died like Minecraft. I think that's the only thing it's missing. Is you should, like, everybody should be forced to, like, have, like, so-and-so died by Koopa to the face constantly across your screen. Like, what's the point of this whole battle royale, like, battle royale thing if, like, we're not seeing the consequences of our actions? Like, I love the implication of people being destroyed by my Bowsers and Goombas, but... Really, come on. Bullet build to the face. Just let me see it. It occurs to me the only reason I have so many coins is because I killed two people. It occurs to me now. Oh, that was dumb. Like, not the dumbest thing I could have done. But definitely not the smartest. Oh boy, down to five people. Oh, that was dumb. Give me something great. Yeah. Of course. Good enough. <sighs> Neat, now it's somebody else's problem. <laughs> hey, that's the block that killed- No! I was gonna go- Uh, I didn't have any momentum. <laughs> Awful. Okay, I think that's it. We got some KOs. We got some wins. We lost pretty dumbly. Okay, let's see our icons. Spiny shell. Nice. Slowly filling this up. Still gonna stick with blooper though. I haven't seen anything that makes me think like, yeah, this represents me more than the blooper. So, thank you for watching, and bye! <laughs>